The Neptune Beach community is remembering its first African-American lifeguard, Larry Hobbs. He died from bladder cancer on June 8th. You might remember we covered the story. Well, today the beach community memorialized him at the Neptune Beach Lifeguard Station. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Spicer reports that Hobbs made history 30 years ago and his life will never be forgotten. Here at the Neptune Beach Lifeguard Station, this lifeguard chair is now dedicated to Larry Hobbs. A swim out was held for Larry Hobbs. It's an old surfer tradition where surfers swim out beyond the waves and make a circle of love with flowers. And then kind words were said about Hobbs. About 100 people participated. One of those was his best friend and brother through friendship, Chris Wooten. He became my brother, I mean, instantly. That was 36, 37 years ago, roughly. All right, I have five children and he's been their uncle. He's been with us every family vacation, every Christmas. Wooten says Hobbs was known for his smile and strength. He had so, so much that smile just lit up. It lit this whole beach up. It was incredible. He was an incredible human being. It's, it's larger than life. There will never be a, you can't fill that void. He loved his community. He didn't see color. Color was nothing to him. He couldn't stand all this modern politics of division. And um, he, was, he was just a gentle soul. Another friend, Kathy Markham, says Hobbs fought cancer the last five years of his life, but he kept a good attitude. He fought like a warrior. Even just three or four weeks before he actually passed, he kept talking about how he couldn't wait to get better and get back in the gym. He fought until the very, very last day. Hobbs' life may be over, but his legacy will live on. In Neptune Beach, Ashley Spicer, Channel 4, The Local Station.